why the Hardly Rake is one of my favorite landscaping tools. All right, everybody, you know the drill. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications of new videos as soon as they come out. So today I've got a little video of us using a Harley rake. I wanna show some of that. I wanna talk about it some, and just really show you why this little ditch witch with mini skidster tool or full-size skidster tool is an awesome tool and why it's one of our favorite landscaping tools. Check it out. You want it to that way, yep. First time operating the Harley rake, doing some training today one of my favorite tools. Um, we're going to own one of these eventually. We're still renting these. They are so straightforward to run. So straightforward. Very easy tool to use. Um, it's a game changer for grade. This site is a uh, this site is a septic installation that the whole back lawn has been destroyed. Um, we're going to grade over all of this. So you can see the site's a little soft today, but after just opening it up and making a few passes, it'll really cut the soil out. Plus, we've got some soil we're adding into this, which is dry, sifted dirt. This is what we use at our shop. It's the good soil we have left over that's full of rocks. We take it and sift it. It's as good as pulverized soil. It's really good soil. doesn't so much till it just cuts the highs off as you go backwards you float and the wheels guide it really cool tool so this is quite a bit different than what i normally do you know i've said i don't really like talking about equipment and this and that and reviews but game changing pieces of equipment that can make your business better like this like this harley rake it is a game changer you can see there that in this video and i'm, I'm looking over these i'm referencing i'm, I'm watching this thing as I'm, I'm making some of these clips how useful it can be, how quickly it can grade ground, how, how easily it can smooth things out and not so much till, you know, it's, it's really hard with some of these tiller boxes and stuff to get a smooth grade. This controls, follows a contour, smooths and cuts everything level. So if you need to do any kind of grading, I suggest you really try one of these pieces of equipment out. If you don't have a mini or a skidster to put one on, rent that too and, and try taking on some of these equipment only jobs or mainly equipment jobs. They are some of our best projects. Sorry for the shaky video today. Um, but they are some of our best projects that just do so well. We're so profitable on them. We go through them really easy. And a lot of them, especially when the guys are getting better and better at running this stuff are, are really not as physically hard as a lot of this are labor style jobs. So this also means you don't have as many people out in the field. You don't have as many moving pieces, which makes them a little easier to organize. You're not paying as much for labor. Um, so it's projects like this and equipment like this that allows you to pay your guys better, pay them more money because now they're operating equipment. They're not needing as much manpower to complete the same task. So check this thing out. Check this dirt rake out. Also, you heard me talking about sifted soil there. Um, for anyone landscaping, if they have a yard, or even if they've just got some land on their property where they work out of, look into making some kind of dirt sifter. You know, I have so much, we have so much soil left over after projects. We've got a uh, hundred tons, a hundred yards, I, I don't know, probably closer to a hundred yards of soil at the shop that's just left over. And, and a lot of it's good stuff. You know, there's a, there's dark soil in there. There's a little bit of clay, but for the most part, you could sift it and get good quality stuff. And we just made a homemade sifter. You know, we'll probably buy one in the future, the gas powered ones that do a lot more, more efficiently. Um, but it's something cool to look into. So a little change up, showing some stuff that we do out in the field, showing an awesome piece of equipment and uh, just throwing out some ideas so you can see how some of these tools work and they maybe could help your landscape company. Everyone, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy in the, um, the current times. I wish you the best. I hope you have a blessed 2020. I look forward to talking to everyone soon. See ya.